Hey everybody, it's Andrew. In this video, we are going to take a one gallon gas can and turn it into a fueling station for RC airplanes. Before we begin, I thought I would point out two things. Number one, you can install this system into the cap of the glow fuel gallon that you purchase at the store, and it works out just fine. Two, I'm gonna be doing this for gas, which means I won't be buying gas in a gallon, rather I'll be going to the gas station and needing to fill up a tank, which is why I like these smaller gas tanks that you find at the auto parts dealers. They're a little more convenient as far as size, they fit nicely into my field bag, and I don't really need more than a gallon at any one point in time. You'll need a Dubro quick fill fitting, a hand pump, six feet or more of fuel line, yellow Tigon for gas, blue silicone for glow, and a fuel clunk. There's a little safety mechanism right here. It's basically a lock, which this goes into right here. I'm not really concerned about that. So what I'm gonna do is remove this piece right here. Let me put that on here. Nice and easy. The one thing that's interesting is that a lot of these gas tanks you buy nowadays have a safety fueling system in it. I don't know if you can kind of see inside there, maybe, maybe not, but there's kind of like a safety mechanism or an extra plastic piece in here. The problem is it is only goes down to two thirds through the can. So there's a huge chunk of the bottom that I don't have access to. So I'm gonna pull that out so I can run my fuel line all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> Whew. Well, that was just a pain. I need to be able to take this fueling system right here and get it into this cap. And unfortunately, as you can tell, I've got a nice little hole right here. So let's try and figure that out. I decided to go with a scrap piece of 1 8 inch thick hobby grade basswood to seal the top of the fuel cap. This also happens to be the same thickness as the rubber O-ring from the tank's pour spout. Seriously? Oh man. Three attempts later, I finally had my fuel cap and fitting prepared. To fuel proof, I mixed up a batch of five minute epoxy and thoroughly coated the cap. For good measure, I did this twice to ensure I had a really good seal. You may have to trim away any extra epoxy to get a proper fit. After test fitting, I realized I didn't have enough clearance for the fuel line even after having cut a slot in the side of the cap. I was able to find a few nylon washers laying around, drilled some larger holes, and this added the extra height that I needed. I removed the rubber O-ring from the base of the fuel nozzle and wrapped it around the cap. This will create the tight seal needed to avoid any fuel spill. Fuel cap assembly complete, it was time to add the fuel line. First, attach your fuel clunk to any end of your fuel line. I have uh, my fuel clunk attached, as you can see right here. Just take this and basically 
get just enough to measure down to the bottom right here and then add just a little bit extra. And then we'll just attach that right into here and it'll be good to go. Next, take the fuel stopper from the top of the fitting and attach it to a two or three foot length of the fuel line. This is the line that will take fuel from the tank to your aircraft, so the longer the line, the better. So now that we have our setup here, we've got our fuel cap. This goes into the tank. And then we have our plug up on the top. And this line we need to actually plug into our fuel pump. You can choose any valve on the pump to plug your fuel line into. Both valves provide inflow and outflow operations. Now that we have one line connected, which happens to be what goes in to the airplane itself into the fuel line, what we need to do next is take this line right here and attach it finally to this one right here. Pro tip, heating yellow gas fuel line before you connect it makes the process 10 times easier. Yellow gas line is stronger and longer lasting, but it is a pain to work with if you don't heat it before fitting. <sighs> Got it. Now attach the last end of the fuel line to the remaining valve on the hand pump and you're done. So there you go. Here you have your one gallon fuel tank with a Dubro pump all set up and ready to go for gas fuel. Like if you like, thumbs down if you didn't. Drop your comments and questions below. Until next time, fly smart, fly safe.